Hello you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I want to start a fun little series. It's called Baking with Raquel. I've always wanted to do this. I have loved baking. Ever since I was a little girl, I've just loved it. I was always looking for any excuse to bake. So today we're going to go ahead and start that series. And the first dessert I want to make on this series is actually a lemon raspberry loaf. I don't know why, but I've just been in such a mood for like a springy, um, like fruity type dessert. So I was scrolling on Pinterest and I saw this recipe and it looked really good and really easy. And it worked out because actually tonight we're going to a party and um, they need us to bring a dessert. So I thought this would be a perfect time to start. I'll show you guys the dessert really quick. It's on Pinterest. Look how good this looks. It looks incredible so we're gonna attempt to make this today i'm really excited okay i'm gonna look at the recipe right here um so the first thing it looks like we need to do is we need to preheat our oven to 350 degrees so i'm gonna go ahead and do that okay the next step is we're going to Whisk together coconut oil, granulated sugar, vanilla, extract, milk, lemon juice, and lemon zest. So let's get started on that. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and melt five tablespoons of coconut oil. I'm just going to go ahead and melt the coconut oil in the microwave. I'm going to start out with one minute. I'm going to take half a cup of granulated sugar and put it into the kitchen aid bowl while i wait for the coconut oil to cool down a little bit before i put it into the mixing bowl i'm gonna go ahead and make one fourth cup one fourth cup of lemon juice by squeezing out these lemons until i reach one fourth i don't know if this is the best way of doing it but we don't have like a lemon squeezer and I'm just going to need to take out the seeds afterwards with a spoon, but I feel like this could be good. Okay, I was going to attempt to scoop out the seeds from the lemon juice, but I found a strainer and I'll actually, I'm just going to do this instead. So I'm just going to pour the lemon juice into the strainer and I got all the seeds out. Cool. Okay, that worked. Perfect bowl is looking like so far this is just the sugar and lemon juice and now I'm gonna go ahead and add this coconut oil that I melted and it's cooled down now so there we go okay the next thing we are going to do is we're gonna make or pour three cups of milk into this little glass pyrex jar so it's three-fourths and then we're gonna pour it into the mixer. I'm really feeling like Nora Smith today. I'm loving it. Okay, the next thing we're going to add is a very special key ingredient. This is a trick that I actually learned from one of my favorite YouTubers, Kristen Johns, whenever she bakes. She, instead of doing vanilla, um, what's it called? Vanilla extract, she does vanilla bean paste for her desserts. And it has changed my world. I get this organic vanilla bean paste from Trader Joe's. And it is the best thing in the world. I am obsessed. Whoa. Except on back those toys. But I am obsessed. So we're going to add one teaspoon of this. go back to just regular vanilla extract after that thank you Kristen Johns okay the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna zest a lemon which I've never in my life done before I don't even know if I have the right ingredients or not ingredients tools to do that but I found this thing that kind of looks like a cheese grater in my mother-in-law's kitchen so we're gonna try zesting a lemon with that okay this gadget here to me, it looks like a cheese grater, but I have no idea what it is. So I'm just gonna try, try it out and see if it does anything. 
Hmm. It's like maybe, maybe I'll try this with the whole lemon. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so embarrassed if I don't, this is just like absolutely not what I think it is. But it's kind of given cheese grater vibes, so we'll see. No. So I was able to find this gadget that looks like a cheese grater and put the lemon on top of the, put it on top of the bowl and zest the lemon and I'm actually getting quite a bit of zest. So that's exciting because I didn't think I was gonna be able to, to get any, so very excited okay here is all the zest i was able to get not a lot but you know what it's better than nothing so we're gonna put it into our mixing bowl now i'm going to add my attachment to the kitchen aid my whisking attachment and we're gonna start whisk whisking the the mixture how do you do this? Wait, there it is. Here is what the mixture looks like unwhisked. But I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down. Oh, wait, I forgot to lock it. This is the lock, whoops. And then we'll, I'll just start at a very slow level so it doesn't spill everywhere. mixture is mixing or while it's whisking I'm gonna go ahead and add two large eggs there's one here's the second one and we're just gonna combine until the mixture is fully whisked together okay the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take all my dry ingredients and put them in the wet ingredients so that's going to be the first dry ingredient I'm gonna add in is two cups of all-purpose flour this is my favorite brand ever it's like the king arthur's brand love it so much has just very clean ingredients love it so we're gonna add that into our wet mixture here goes the flour and then here is my one teaspoon of baking powder oh it's gonna be kind of stuck in there and then lastly here is my baking soda teaspoon we're gonna add oh actually let me check teaspoon but it's actually a half teaspoon of baking soda so here is that oh i always have a hard time getting out the baking soda i don't know why okay and then that is all of our dry ingredients we're just going to mix these ingredients all together i need to lock it first and then I'm just going to slowly mix and then it should be ready to pop into the oven I accidentally forgot that we needed to add a fourth teaspoon of salt. Okay, here is one fourth teaspoon of salt. Let's add this. Oh, a little bit more, that's okay. Okay, my ingredients are pretty much all whisked together. So it is ready to be popped in the oven. I'm going to go ahead and take my pan, which I have right here. This is a little bit thicker than I'm thinking I need it to be, but I couldn't find any other pan. So I'm gonna take my salted butter and just grease the pan with the butter. Now that I've greased the butter, I'm gonna go ahead and take my mixture and pour it into the pan. I'm hoping that this will be a good size for, oh, it's looking like it might be. Hopefully the loaf will rise a little bit more too than I think it will. Okay, my mixture is all poured into the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in the oven for exactly an hour, so exactly 60 minutes, and it should be ready. Our loaf is ready and it is done and it's ready to be taken out of the oven, so we're gonna go ahead and take her out. Look at her, she looks so good. Okay, let's make the glaze.
Okay, I just finished up the glaze and this is what it looks like. It looks amazing. I'm gonna taste it really quick. Mm, that is so good. Okay, now we're gonna drizzle it all over the bread. Okay, you guys, this is the final look. I went ahead and added my own little decorative flair to it. I added some like little lemon pieces and raspberries. I think it looks so good. I can't wait to try it. I have to try it after the party because I don't want to obviously ruin it right now, but I think it looks really good and I'm super excited about it. When I give Bronco a lemon, he freaks out. He hates it. He's a little sleepy now, so do I wanna? <gasps> Bronco. Oh. What is that? He like hates the smell. Oh, what is that? He's too sleepy right now. Oh, you don't me. I'm, I won't make you try. Do you want to try it? Ooh. You don't like that? No. You don't like the lemon? guys i got back from the party and we're gonna do a little taste test everyone seemed to really like it so here it is Oops. okay here we go mm. that's good it's like i'm definitely not like a big lemon person so but this is really good that combo with raspberry tyler come try do a taste test. What is it? Mm. Where do you rate it? Ten out of ten. Oh, be honest. Be honest with me. Oh, okay. okay, out of my chocolate chip cookies that you love, where does this mm. fall on the scale? Nothing can beat the brownies, chocolate chip mm -hmm. cookies for me. Mm -hmm. Just because you love chocolate chip. I love those. But like, out of ten, like ten is the chocolate chip cookies. Eight. Where does this fall? Eight. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I was thinking more of a seven. That's pretty you don't good. Don't make a bad dessert. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. That was really fun.